You can add your favorite blogs and any site that has an RSS feed, such as a news website, directly to Microsoft Outlook. Over the day, Outlook will periodically check these blogs and sites for updates and will pull down the latest posts for you to read when you're ready. Now, there's two ways to subscribe to a news or blog feed. The first way is directly from the website itself. So I'm going to open up a browser, and I've already got a list of news feeds that we can choose from. So I'm going to click on XML besides one of them. And now I'm going to click on subscribe to this feed. It may look different for whatever site you're using, but it's generally going to be the same type of wording. I click on subscribe. And now I can click view my feeds to make sure that I've really subscribed to that site. Now you'll notice I'm not in Outlook yet. This is purely Internet Explorer. If I go back into Outlook, I can now tell Outlook to sync with any feed that I've subscribed to via Internet Explorer, it can also pull in those feeds directly into Outlook. So what we're going to do is go into File, Options, Advanced, and scroll down to the RSS feed section. We need to put check marks besides these two options. The last one is really important. That's what tells Outlook to actually synchronize those feeds between Internet Explorer and Outlook. There's one more thing we need to do. Because I'm on an Exchange server, I need to come down here to the Send Receive button, click Edit, and tell the Exchange server that I also want to sync that RSS feed folder. So I'm going to place a check mark beside Include the selected account in this group. I'm going to come down here and choose RSS feeds. I can hit Close, hit OK. Now, Whenever I close and restart Outlook, this RSS feeds folder will be populated with the feed that I subscribe to in Internet Explorer. Now, there's one more way that we can add a feed, and that is by copying and pasting it directly into Outlook. I'm going to open up another browser that I have. If I go to the Linda blog, I can see this button here on the right. This is actually a universal icon that means it's an RSS feed. So I can click on this icon, and it should take me to the subscription link, just like the last one did. But I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. I'm actually on the feed page right now. I'm going to come up here to the URL, click once, right-click, and choose Copy. Now I can come back to my Outlook, right-click on the RSS Feeds folder, and choose Add a new RSS feed. I can right-click in the bar or just use my keyboard, Control-V, to paste it in, hit Add, and now it's going to ask me if I really want to add that RSS feed to Outlook. In this case, yes, I do. Now I can see my blog. So every time I do a send and receive, it's going to add my new one from Internet Explorer and the one that I've added manually. So now, you'll never fall behind on your favorite website's updates.